Hello everyone, welcome to Automation with Ansible and today we will be seeing how to launch a docker container using Ansible. For this we will be using two servers, one as Ansible control node and another as docker host. You should also have docker py python module installed on docker host so that Ansible can work with docker. So let's start now. Steps which we will perform are pull a CentOS image, create a custom image, create a container, validate deployment. So we will be writing four playbooks and later on we'll use Jenkins to automate our deployment. So let's start with step one that is writing a playbook for pulling CentOS image. Log into your Ansible host and start writing the first playbook to pull the CentOS image. We'll give a name to the playbook. Hosts where it should run. So since I'm using a remote Docker host and I have it's in my resolve.conf I will give the host name tasks give a name to your task let's pull and the module which we'll be using here is docker underscore image give the name of the image which you want to be downloaded so I think we are done so let's go ahead and save it and run the playbook So my playbook have uh, logged into the docker host and it's trying to download the CentOS image. Let's check in docker host. As of now nothing is downloaded. Let's watch it. Now it's downloaded and my playbook completed. Now let's move on to next playbook which is to create a custom image. Let's start. Give a name to the playbook. Again the host where it will be running is Docker host. Let's start the tasks. We'll give a name to a task. Since we are building image, we we'll build image. The module which we will use to build the image is docker underscore image. Next you have to give the path of your docker file wherever it is located on the docker host. So for me it is located in slash root slash docker and give a name to your customized image. I'm giving web image as I'm gonna run web server. Let's log into our docker host and see our docker file. So I'm doing nothing much but uh, using the CentOS image which, which we just downloaded to install HTTPD over it and then 
copy our custom index.html which is having hey there so that we can verify what is that our container is running and http service is running inside it and then we're using a script that is run.sh which is which will be starting http service inside that uh, container let's go ahead and run the playbook uh, to create the image so playbook has started check it on docker host so image is being created as you can see image id is allocated so my playbook completed let's see the docker host and my web image is also available now so next job is to create a container using this customized image web image and run http service over it and expose the port so let's move to ansible host and start writing the playbook Again, hosts will be docker host here Let's start the tasks and the module which we'll use here is docker underscore container give a name to a container which you will create for me I will be giving web provide the image name so we are gonna use web image give the state of container we want it to be started give the ports which you want to be exposed since my web server will be running on HTTP I will be giving 80 and on the host server i want it to be transferred to 8080 give tty as true and detach as true these are equivalent to your hyphen t and hyphen d options when you run docker container using command line so my create container playbook is ready let's go ahead and run it So my playbook is in being run and container is created let's move to docker host and check it over there so my container is running now let's go to the browser and verify it So it's returning here there uh, it means it's running successfully now let's go ahead and write a validation module in ansible so vi give a name Again, hosts will be local host because I can verify from my Ansible server. No need to log into the Docker server. Tasks. And 
and the module which you use will be URI we have to provide a URL to validate that will be for me that is HTTP docker host at port 8080 because I'm exposing that port again return content TS and we'll register the output to a variable that is this which I've used earlier so this module has to fail when hey there is not inside the value this means variable this fail when hey there not in this dot content yeah I think we are done let's go ahead and run and check this module it completed successfully means it's returning here there which we saw it is returning so all our four playbooks are completed and we can write all these four play playbooks in uh, in one playbook but but for performing ci cd it's better to split different tasks as i told you i will be running this pipeline from uh, means these jobs from jenkins pipeline i've already configured it in four jobs that is pull image create web image create web container and validator i have uploaded all the four playbooks to github okay so my jenkins jobs are downloading all these four uh, playbooks and running jobs one by one so this is the pipeline so we are going to run it again but before that we will clear everything from the docker host or else it will fail We are going to delete images also. So now we don't have a running container or an image. Okay, let's see our container URL that also failed now run this pipeline and let's see what happens so image is being pulled image is pulled let's go and check it Yeah, CentOS image is pulled. So my image has been created. Let's see. Yes. And content creation is in progress container is created that means yeah my container is running and validation is in program validation successful let's see if we are able to resolve the URL yeah so all those four steps completed as I said you can write all the four steps in one playbook or you can separate in multiple playbooks and then Jenkins job so that you can perform CI CD easily and unit testing as per your environment requirement the way you want to create it depends on you 
but you can create docker container images full images and delete and do, we can do much more using ansible so that concludes our video hope you liked it please subscribe the channel for more videos on automation with ansible thank you